Restart the recording. So, um, he couldn't save, but I don't think that will be an issue. So I'm not sure if this design is still a thing I will be going with, but we will try it out. Uh, nevertheless, star map next on. Uh, yes, we are going to the tournament. Yes, I know we're low on cash. That's why we're going to a tournament. We can win some money there. That's how economies work, I think. Isn't it all just about the price money or something? Ah, but the, the Clash of the Titans is a pretty fun flashpoint. Yeah, thank you for your work. Broke, yes, I know we are broke. Doesn't matter. We're not going to tell the bank. And F. Okay. Um, pay the discounted fee, please. Lucky me. Yeah, at some point I should look at getting about 10 heat exchangers and see if that actually works with the 100% uh, heat reduction. I'm very curious to seeing that. We're yes, I know we're almost out of catch. Don't piss your pants. I know what I'm doing. Um, we will do this soon. I just want to check which kind, of, what kind of contracts are available. Ah, some decent pirate contracts. Versus the planetary government. The planetary government. Good, we can make some cash on here. Even though this doesn't seem to pay as much. So, Flashpoint. Where is he? There. Tournament of Champions. Your deeds on the field of battle have earned you an invitation to my Tournament of Champions. Join us and take your place in the arena against the Peripheries' fiercest warriors. We shall do so. Ah, Commander Smith. Very good. I was hoping that you'd accept my invitation. I am Professor Mencius Horvat, and you are to be congratulated. Only the most celebrated mercenary companies are allowed to participate in my Tournament of Champions. Yes. Thanks. Remind me what we stand to by gaining this. Never mind that. I want to know what he's wearing. That is a seriously bold look, Professor. I don't even know what I'm seeing here. What you are seeing, Mr. Vitorian, is the height of a Black Reaper, a savage beast, the apex predator of Yankee One, and a killer of men. I put an end to it this one myself, tracked it for days, stalked it, and lanced it through the heart with a single trust. The height is as thick as rubber, yet soft as a lover's caress. The fur is as luxuriant, as fragrant as in the deed. Uh, indeed, this coat is absolutely pregnant with the beast's incredible musk. I am suddenly overjoyed that we are speaking in, in person. Now, let's get back to this prize purse. How big is it? A million Seabakes. Winner takes all. Peril doesn't scare me. We will handle whatever you put against us. So you say, for now. We will see you if you sing a different tune when you are scraping your prize McRoy out of a ruined cockpit. Red Death and the Arena Floor are constant contestants. But if you speak truly, you are a hunter of men, you would uh, find much love in my tournament. For those bold enough for to follow the verified risk of giving its favor, etc. etc. Yeah, right it does. I can do this. 
uh, what are the rules of this tourney, what are um, drop weight restrictions. The Tournament of Champions has no need for such guidelines. In fact, your battle max won't be required at all. To ensure a level playing field, I insist that all competitors pilot hard for round for my own stable stock of max. And if we'd prefer to use our own max, then you'll be disappointed. I'm afraid this rule is inviable. Ah, oh. Man, monster. Wow. Anyone just get a little shiver? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> so long as you honor my master's rules, you have nothing to fear from me. But if you step out of line, etc., etc., he isn't exaggerating, Commander. I once saw Gigante strangle man with and his horse at the same time. Enough talk, you know the stakes, you know, understand the risks. I am ready for this tournament. Yeah, blah 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 blah. I want to do some fighting. Come on, game. Get a move on. Tournament of Champions. No cash, no salvage. So shoot to kill. Four Urban Max. <laughs> this is going. Oh, before I do this, wait. Let's take a quick look at the barracks. Let's check if anyone still has some skill points you can. Yes. Um. Okay. Do like this. Mech warrior training complete. I myself become legendary. Training confirmed, Commander. Good to go. Gearheads, yeah, just training complete. Get up there. What's up, boss? Receiving you. Standing by. Pylon, slacker, you can't improve anymore. Traveler. Uh, which one is important? Yeah, just the accuracy. Mech warrior training complete. Uh, vision. Training Do get that sprint speed because urban max are slow as fuck. Training complete. So now we're ready. We will get our best pilots out. So four urban max. Ba 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 ba. Um, maybe not you, maybe not you. Mummy Bear, definitely. Slacker. Is anyone better? Yes, Pylon is better. Uh, let's take a quick look at the skills. Everyone has Bulwark, except for Slacker. And we do not need multi shot because Urban Max only have one weapon. Uh, so maybe who is better? As having Bulwark is going to be very important in this fight. Erp, 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 erp. And I'm not quite sure, are these the Urban Max with the AC-20 or are these the Urban Max with the AC-10? We will see. It will most definitely be a headshot galore. But usually you tend to play it more safe by just shooting off the guns of the other people. And Uri is basically a walking dustbin with a mounted AC-10. That outer cannon packs a hell of a punch. But it's only got eight shots. Keep an eye on those ammo counters, John. <laughs> AC20 Urban Max can be pretty dangerous. I have not lost anyone, but I have taken severe damages by just this random urban mech just sitting in a corner just not getting there and you just think oh it's probably just something simple and stupid and you just walk around the, or the corner and you see this big AC-20 just staring down the barrel and just goes boom and then parts of your mech start flying off and you just see how you just see the cash just flying through the room and you go like yep that was expensive <laughs> Uh, 
So let's hope that nobody Command dies. Interface initiated. Blop, 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 blop. I think it's a four way battle if I remember correctly. It's. Egg warriors, you stand alone in the carcass of an abandoned city. This sepulcher of the commands is now reborn as a hunting grounds in the field of battle. All that to do, uh, all to the command of my master, Professor Minikus Hofrat. Horvat. You honor me, Giganti. I am pleased to my guests. I bid you welcome. Ready yourselves, test your might, tournament of champions. Joanna Smith, today your lands will face off against four of the deadliest killers in the remote periphery. As to offer, two of these terrors stand before you now. The rest of them in the shadows, uh, like predators on the hunt. By Limpet. Butcher these amateurs before lurking. Limpet Chapel. I'm his brother Jake. God's son. <laughs> and so the table is set. At one end, Commander Smith's battle hearted mercenaries. At the other end, a form of deadly lone wolves. Each bound to the other by the shared lust for victory. Let the tournament begin. So, where are they sitting? They're sitting somewhere over there. And we have to be smart about this. So, we are going to sprint over here. Go, Urban Mac, go! They're so slow. And yes, they are the AC... Wait, even the AZ-10 variants have small lasers? Um, so we should do a bit of flanking. Yes, Commander. So two move over here, two move over here. I have not seen them on the radar blip yet, which is a bit scary. Go over here. There they are. You, run over here. Uh, your attention, please. We have a latecomer en route to join the tournament. Consider her a wild card, if you will. When a drop pot hits the ground, I expect that you attempt to butcher the lot of you. Otherwise, to deny opportunity, kill her before she kills you. We are going to reserve. Things are moving. Now, jump to kill. Mm. Yeah, a headshot will be viable. Ooh. Taking off an arm is probably the good idea. Oh, that was it. Ready for orders. Engaging jump jets. Uh, do a normal shot. Engaging target. Also try to walk. Now we should jump. Jumping gives us uh, more evasion pips. Also, don't stand too close to each other. We do not want to get hit by each other. Shoot. That was the wrong arm. And then start sprinting. Another Irby. Hoop! Ah! Oh, 
Oh god, a headshot. That's pretty terrible. I am so glad that these mechs are perfectly armored. <laughs> so you jump into action. Get into his side and try to lop off his arm. All weapons committed. Another headshot? Are you shitting me? A headshot is pretty worthless. Try this again. Ah, oh, you missed! What's wrong with you? Yes, Commander. Well, the good thing about the headshot is... Yeah. I should think about my standing. It should be fine. Now, uh, position shots. Against him again. Tear off that arm. Good shot. And shoot him. Good shot. They are disarmed. There's some fighting going on over there. Let's see, these two guys should jump out of the way. Just jump on this building. Don't use your AC-20. We could try for a headshot kill. Ah, doesn't. Oh, wait. Do nothing. Yes, Commander. Uh, time for some punching action. Can, I, can you actually punch? No, you can kick. Good shot. Another punch. Good. Not so good. How thick is your back armor? Too thick. I can't kill you in a single shot. I also cannot kill you in a single shot. So, take another shot. Ooh, that wasn't the balls. You missed.
They are just shooting each other. Now, get over there. Precision strike him. Try to go for the head, but just shoot. Oh, where's this one coming from? Where was that? Over here. So he's coming. And a decent punch in your right side. So that would be over here. I can't do that. Continue punching him. So you are almost chewed through your armor. I can punch you. Do it. Engaging physical attack. Good attack. Okay. I can kill one of them by doing a decent jump and a precision strike. Go for the kill. Bam! Punch incoming! Ah! So you are pretty damaged, but it should be fine. Not quite sure what he is doing, but... Yes, Commander. Um, back off a bit. Yes, Commander. Precision strike. Still trying to take off his head. But taking off his arm is also a good option. What? My internals are taking a beating. He can snipe from all the way over there. We have to take care of you. Time to punch. Time to punch some more. Engaging physical attack. Well, there goes part of the torso. Ah, perfect. That's actually a bit of salvage. Now, you are still perfectly fine, so you sprint into reconnaissance. That's reserved for now. Uh, 
Awaiting orders. You are all the way over there. I can get a visual if I run over here, but I will be showing my right side. Let's sprint into cover. Brace. So let's see what the enemy is going to do. There's still two enemies, but they're still also fighting each other. Ooh, he has his back turned to us. You there. Yes, this is a perfect shot. In the trees where we are safe, behold, Connor Smith, the stalking predators reveal themselves. Got that right, Professor. And it's not a rear shot, but it's a good shot. Take it. And uh, let's snipe a bit. Ooh, AC tank crit. And just unload on him. Ouch. And you sprint. Start running. Full throttle. <laughs> that was kind of stupid. How much damage did you take? Well, not as much as I thought. But that was still pretty unnecessary. You, uh, jump into this cover. Engaging jump jets. And use a precision strike because you are a bit inaccurate and try to core him. Engaging target. There we go. Yeah. Jump into the trees. Core shot. Yes, Commander. Jump on the building. No, wait. This is. Where are you? You're between the buildings. Not a core shot. I think I killed everyone. Mission successful. Good. That was easy. Well, not really, but it was entertaining.
So, no money, too bad. Um, but these Urban Mexico knackered, I don't really care about. Hey, I got some Urban Mech parts. God damn it. <laughs> Trash cans. Each and every one of them. 